guys, it's half I am back in and this is going to be my first update for the Disney Princess Roulette project. Um, mine is a reading project. There are a whole bunch of other people who are doing a makeup project. But Zelma and Rebecca and I are all doing books instead because we felt we had enough projects on the go. And you know, it's good to encourage yourself to read. So around about a month ago, I'm a little bit behind everyone else at the moment. About a month ago, I picked seven books according to the um, colours that had been set down by, I think it was Jessica who designed it. Um, so they're drawn randomly. I use a random number generator that I have on my phone um, to pick the numbers between 1 and 14. Um, I picked seven books out last time, so I will go through my progress so far. I've actually finished four of them so far. There's only one book I haven't actually started reading out of the seven that I picked. So, um, the books that I have finished are Golden Earrings by Belinda Alexander. Um, uh, Alexandra, sorry. I really actually enjoyed this book. It was actually really good. I've read one other one of hers completely and another one I started it but I couldn't I haven't managed to finish it yet this one was heaps different I got like really involved in the characters and the story that was going on um, it is kind of set between two locations and two times um, they're interwoven obviously but they're um, you get the story from two different sides and it's actually really quite interesting um, a lot of stuff around uh, Barcelona and Paris and it was, it was just a really interesting read um, and there's lots of dance in it which I thought was really interesting there's lots of stuff about uh, flamenco and ballet and yeah so this was actually a really good read really super enjoyed that the second one I finished was Purple Roads by Flo McDonald. This is an um, Australian author, Australian based book. Uh, I liked it but I found myself getting very frustrated with the characters who I felt were acting in a kind of stupid way really like they couldn't see the woods for the trees like it was right in front of them it was obvious and the male character, main male character she tended to make him appear a bit like he was a jerk when he probably really wasn't he was suffering quite a bit um yeah it was it was okay not the best book i've ever read but um i read this one in i think it was only like a night that it took me to read it so it was okay Um, then I read The Timekeeper, which my partner had been trying to get me to read for years. Finally got around to reading it. it. Took me less than a night to read it. It's not a very thick book. I liked it. However, it is very much um, a Christmas Carol, a wonderful life, that kind of story. It has that feel to it and that kind of message in it because clearly there's a message in this one um, but it is very much like those two particular classics uh, not really uh, not the most original idea and the last one I finished was Poppy's Dilemma actually really enjoyed this one it's kind of like there's a bit of a love story that goes on there as well um but poppy finds out all of this uh secret mystery that is in her family that she wasn't unaware of um and it follows her trying to find out what happened and eventually whilst not necessarily getting to the truth she got pretty close to the truth uh it was interesting. It was a it was a good read, and the, there's a diary in it that's written by another character, which was very interesting. And they actually read you bits of it, and then other bits they kind of do it more from her point of view, which is it's always a bit of fun. Um, but this one was actually pretty good. Um, so yeah. Currently reading at the moment, 
Terry Pratchett's Unseen Academicals. I've started it. I'm actually kind of struggling to get into it. It might be because nothing really major has happened yet. I haven't read very much of it yet. Um, it's okay, but it, it's not... A lot of Terry Pratchett books just, like, suck me in and I can't get back out again. This one, not so much. And the last one I am in the process of reading. I'm just over half way through it now. This is Michael Connolly's The Gods of Guilt. I didn't think I was going to like this. It's okay, although for a book that, or an author that has such a really good reputation, I found this, I guess I was expecting more sophistication from his writing, and it's it's not. The, the language use and the way that uh, sentences, sentences are structured and stuff is not particularly sophisticated. Um, which I was actually a little surprised by. Um, and sometimes it's, um, there's a little bit too much uh, telling you the story rather than showing you what's actually happening, which I find a little bit... It's, it's not my favourite style of storytelling. Um, yeah, but it's okay, and, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. Um, I think I've, yeah, I've finished the first two parts. I'm up to, I believe, yeah, I'm up to part three. Part four, I kind of did that sneaky ready thing. Part four is like two pages. So. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're at sort of like the end game of the main part of the novel. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's different. It's not usually the type of stuff that I read. It's sort of a murder mystery, but from the lawyer's point of view, it's different. Um, it's okay though. The only book of the original seven that I have not touched yet is uh, Sunset Ridge by Nicole Alexander, another Australian author. have not started this one yet. I want to finish one of the other two I'm currently reading before I, well, we'll see. Um, I really want to finish The Gods of Gil before I start a new book. So, I went on my little random app thing and drew another four numbers. Um, I ended up with two numbers I'd had before, so I won't be having to pick those ones anymore. And luckily the random number app that I use it allows you to eliminate numbers that you don't want drawn, which is going to be really useful. So I drew number 11, which, again, which is Pocahontas. Um, and because I had used tan on the last one, I picked turquoise for this one, and I picked the Glass Lake by Maeve Binchy. I don't think I've read it. I might have, but I don't think I have, or I might have started reading it and not finished it. Um, I've read a lot of Maeve's books, so yeah, but I'm pretty sure I didn't read this one yet. And even if I did, I'll read it again. Um, yeah, so that one is my one for turquoise. Then I picked number four, which is um, Belle, which I'd also picked last time and I'd used yellow. So this time I picked white, which kind of fit into one of the books I actually wanted to read. Uh, this is The Black Prism by Brett Weeks. Um, there's The Black Prism is written in white. Um, and, uh, you know, black's the opposite of white. My son just finished reading this, and he said I should read it. He said I'd find it really interesting. It's super thick. Um, yeah, and he now wants all the other books that are in the series. I think there's, um, three or four other books in this particular series. Um, but he said I should read it, so I figured this was good a time as any. Then I picked number five, which is Cinderella, which is either light blue or dark brown. I went with dark brown and picked The Long War by Stephen, uh, by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. I have actually read the one before that, which is uh, The Long Earth, so I thought this was a, a good one to read. This is, this is not like Discworld, this is a different type of, of writing. Um, and although I already have a Terry Pratchett novel, I will 
I wanted to read this one. I, I bought it ages ago and it's just like been sitting there. So um, yeah, so that one is my one for dark brown. And lastly, I picked number two, which is Ariel, which was teal or purple. So I picked purple and I picked this book, which is another Carly Lane one. Just the same person who wrote uh, Poppy's Dilemma. Uh, this one is called Morgan's Law. This is one that she is more famously known for. Um, 